Hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're coming back, hey, I missed you. Where you been? Um, if you guys want a personal reading, info's in the description box below. It is the month of November and here in the United States, that is all about Thanksgiving, all right? So we're showing gratitude and thanks all month of November. Every day at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, there will be a new collective general reading for you guys. It is not based on your sun sign. It is based on ancestral lineage, all right? Even if your lineage doesn't pop up today, all right? There's something for you to gain from this message. Today, though, we're using the Tarot of the Divine <coughs> right here. And just so you know, this deck has stories, literally folk tales, from all walks of life, from all places around the globe, okay? So everyone's um, ethnicities will be represented today in this reading. So let's get a general message for you guys today and see what's going on with the collective today. What's in the heart of the matter for the collective today? What's in the heart of the matter for the collective today? The date May 20th may be significant for some of y'all. Also, if anyone's named Sissy, this message is extra for you. I just see this carved into this railing. I've been reading here for hours and hours and hours and I've not seen that. Also a Molly, Smith and a Chrissy. All right, what's in the heart of the matter for the collective today? The Ten of Swords. This is an indigenous Alaskan folktale, I believe. I forget the uh, gist behind it, but what I always notice about this Ten of Swords right here, do you see this boat? There's somebody in the water drowning, all right? They've been impaled by these swords, whoever this man is in the boat. This person is literally watching them drown, all right? There has been an ending, all right? It's been a super painful one. I read art on my channel. I'm not just gonna tell you the Ten of Swords, oh my God, there's a painful ending. There was, okay? This one specifically to me though, this is one that's extra hurtful because the person who hurt you could have helped you out of this. It could have been prevented. Also, this person watched you suffer, okay? In the heart of the matter, there's some kind of a painful ending here where you feel like you either should have stepped in or somebody else should have stepped in to end this, that it was painful to like know that somebody was watching you suffer. All right, what's crossing y'all today? <coughs> <coughs> y'all i'm out here freezing my ass off for you guys but i felt the need to be very grounded when i did these readings so i'm sitting with water all around me i am like heavy scorpio cancer placements in my chart and the earth energy i feel like sitting on the wood like really grounds me i'm feeling this one already though i don't like seeing that ten of swords it's a real manipulative one, all right? Somebody that just like doesn't care about your pain. They acknowledge it, they see it, and they sit there and they watch you suffer. And I'm sorry that you're going through that, all right? What's crossing y'all today? The Two of Cups in the reverse. This is from the Epic of Gilgamesh, all right? It's an Iraqi folktale. These are two men on this card. Two of Cups energy is about the love of your life, your soulmate, all right? Somebody who is a very important figure on an emotional level to you. It doesn't have to be a romantic connection. This could be your child. This could be a parent. This could be a best friend. Whatever it is, whenever I see this Two of Cups show up, all right? This shows me that there's two people who basically have met their match. <clears throat> First of all, both y'all were butting heads. There was too much masculine energy here. Nobody could tap into their feminine it was like two Tauruses going at it, all right? Head to head, locking horns. The moral of this story was though, these two were so different, all right? They could not stop warring. Finally, something gave, all right? There was some kind of a tragedy, something happened where they came together and they realized that they were more similar than they were different. They found a way to, you know, be in harmony. They realized that they had literally met their match. What's painful about this, all right? It reads like Twin Flame. It reads like somebody who is your other half somebody who is so similar that you can't help but butt heads and be different. All right, you know this person like the back of your hand. 
that's why it's so painful. You know that this shouldn't have happened, all right? You also know that this was a very important connection. This one hurts, y'all. I'm not feeling this one today. What's in the recent past? What happened in the recent past that we're holding on to that we need to be aware of? You don't want to go in. What are you? The Empress in the reverse. What did I say about the lack of feminine? All right? I just get this feeling, all right, that there was just like this standoff and whatever this was. Nobody was, first of all, nobody was thinking about what was best for themselves. I feel like ego clash happened here, all right? Two people were butting heads. They were trying to get in each other's way. It was like, we found this point and we're gonna die on this hill. Nobody was willing to like be the mother here. Nobody was willing to <clears throat> take a step back and nurture. <clears throat> there was no concern about growth, all right, in the past. It was all about winning is what I feel like and being right. Also, whatever this energy was that y'all were in, it was hurting the both of you, okay? The Empress in the reverse is about a lack of self-care. It's about not caring about yourself enough, not, you know, taking care of your needs. Whatever this was put y'all out of your energy to where you were not able to like do what you needed to do on a daily basis. I feel like a lot of y'all just stopped functioning. What's on their mind right now? What do they need to know about? What's on their mind? What's in the headspace? <clears throat> the Seven of Cups in the reverse. This is Aladdin. Many lamps, all right? Only one of those lamps has the genie in it that's gonna grant all of his wishes though. Yours is in the upright, okay? Seven of Cups at its root is about emotional confusion. It's about your emotions getting the best of you. It's also about illusions. It's about seeing things that aren't there. It's about fantasy. It's about feeling like, you know, maybe there's better. Maybe this cup has more in it. Somebody right now is realizing, all right, that they chose wrong. <laughs> they know what cup they want, all right? They know which one has the genie in it. They know which one will grant their wish. Somebody's not even willing to consider another option at this point, especially from an emotional standpoint. Somebody's also wondering if it was all a dream, all right? I'm picking that up. It's almost like they're feeling like they imagined all of this. It felt so very, very real, whatever this was. And the fact that it's over just doesn't make any kind of sense. Somebody's just trying to make sense of it on an emotional level. I do feel like your emotions are running away with you at this time. And I do feel like you've not been taking good enough care of yourself. I'm picking up on like depression, honestly. I'm also picking up on gaslighting. Whenever I see a connection that strong, all right, that was rejected for, you know, it feels like no good reason. It's like people are putting blame where it shouldn't be. <clears throat> or making somebody feel responsible for things that weren't their fault. What's the energy coming up in the near future? <clears throat> What's the near future energy that they need to be aware of? What's the near future energy coming their way? The world in the reverse. This is the last card in the Fool's Journey in the Tarot, all right? This one reads very much like lovers to me. Do you see them on here? I believe it's a Hawaiian or a Polynesian folktale on this one. It's a happily ever after, all right, is what this is. In the near future, it's not coming. Also, whatever this business between the two of you is, it's unfinished and it needs to be finished. Scorpio season abhors unfinished business okay whatever this is it needs to be laid to rest and i see someone not wanting to do that a connection this strong something like this there's always a valuable lesson to be learned there's something that we have to take from it if you are in a weird twin flame type situation the only way that you draw your twin back closer to you is if you heal yourself the more you elevate yourself 
You're attached at a string, all right? A silver string between your hearts. If you start elevating and leveling yourself up, that string can only go so far before it has to start coming, you know, following you. If you're getting in that empress in the reverse energy where you're not taking care of yourself and you're degrading, all right, energetically, your twin moves further down the line and does the same. You guys need to put this to rest, all right? You need to heal. You need to move on from it. If it is yours, it's going to come back to you. That's how this works, all right? Holding on to whatever this is, though, not taking care of yourself, allowing yourself to, you know, get in a depressed state where you're not taking care of your own business, that's not how you fix this, okay? What's the subconscious energy today? What's in the subconscious that's holding my collective back? What is it that they don't want to think about? What's in the subconscious that they're not wanting to think about? The Queen of Wands. More Hawaiian stuff here, all right? First of all, there's a volcano about to erupt in the background. The Queen of Wands, all right? She's not the marrying type. I'll say that about her. <laughs> the Queen of Wands is the most passionate queen. She's also the most attractive queen. She's the most beautiful queen. She's also the witch of the deck what the energy is that we're hiding or that we don't want to think about is that okay the queen of wands never sits somewhere too long if she's not getting her way or she's not getting what she wants if her passions and she's not getting her heart's desire she will move on to the next thing quickly the queen of wands is not stagnant she doesn't sit around the queen of wands is always on the move all right also if she wants something she will get it I feel like you've given up, okay? You're telling yourself you can't you can't talk about this energy. You can't talk about the energy of like if I really want it that bad I can have it. You're also not excited to get to work about something with that. I don't feel like you think you have the strength to you know pull through with whatever this is and to do the hard work that it takes. You need to harness the Queen of Wands energy. She's a witch, she's a magician, all right? She's a sorceress. She can manifest anything. She's basically the magician in female form. You can have what you want, all right? But it's going to take effort on your part. You're also going to have to be the one to pull yourself out of the sunken place that you're in. What's the energy in their control that they're not paying attention to? What's the energy in my collective's control right now that they're not utilizing to the best of their ability or that they're not seeing right? What do we need to talk about that's in their control? The Knight of Cups in the reverse. A lot of indigenous Alaskan and Hawaiian, like Polynesian um, energy coming through today. This is an old connection, all right? I feel like it's a past life one for sure. The, the energies that have been coming up, Iraq, you know, Alaskan, indigenous, Maori, things like that those are old cultures all right i feel like this is an old connection i feel like y'all have known each other in many lives this knight of cups though he reads more like a knight of swords or a knight of pentacles to me he is standing in a lot of emotion and a lot of water here but he's also got an eagle all right an eagle reads swords energy to me knowledge seeing things from a higher perspective also his horse is planted very firmly like the knight of pentacles i see this in the reverse for you this is your emotions are spewing everything right now the way that you're wanting to proceed through life right now is from emotional insecurity or emotional instability you need to get grounded in whatever this emotional turmoil is you need to back it up and see it from a higher perspective you don't need to be leading with your heart right now all right your heart is doing a number on you you need to consult your head all right you also need to consult what it is that's going to make you grounded and make you feel stable what they're wanting you to do right now is, you know, put your heart on ice, all right? Some rod wave in there. Mama said, it's my fault. It's my fault I wear my heart on my sleeve. I think it's best I put my heart on ice, heart on ice, cause I can't breathe. I think it's best I put my heart on ice, getting the best of me. Y'all's heart's getting the best of you. You wear it on your sleeve. It's like everyone sees it, all right? Everyone sees the depression. Everyone sees what's going on here. 
You got to stop moving that way, all right? I feel like you're feeding the dark with this and you need to stop doing that. What's the outside energy? What's the outside energy coming into play now? What's the outside energy coming into play for my collective right now? Woo, that one flew. The ace of swords in the reverse, all right? You know damn well whoever this is that you're dealing with, and I'm sorry, this is a romantic reading today or a love reading. Whoever you're dealing with is not being honest about their feelings. The things that they've said to you, you know damn well are not true. That's what happens in twin flame type relationships or soul, high level soulmate you know, relationships. They're scary, all right? People don't want to admit their feelings. They don't want to admit the truth of things. Also, this person's cut you off. You know, we saw that Ten of Swords. They've cut you off without a good reason. They didn't give you clarity and they're not willing to. I feel like this person's not even clear on how they stand. They're going through their own dark night of the soul with this, all right? You're wrestling with your emotions. They're wrestling with their mind. I feel like they feel the feels, all right? But they don't want to acknowledge them in their head. There's nothing you can do about that, all right? You can't sort this person's thoughts out. They have to do that on their own. You need to take that into consideration that this person is not thinking clearly. Whatever they're saying to you is not coming from a place of truth. It's coming from a place of fear and lies and manipulation because they don't like the way things were going. Don't fight against that. They have to get that clarity, that epiphany on their own. What are the hopes and fears? Wow, you jumped out. And there's two of them. The star and the king of pentacles in the reverse, all right? First of all, y'all want to fix this. You're scared you're not going to be able to. This connection makes you feel weak, all right? King of Pentacles energy also, it's a very, you know, reliable energy. When I see this guy here, this turtle, turtle, he looks ancient as fuck, first of all. I'm telling you, it's an ancient ass connection between the two of you. But look at all these, you know, the old tree that's growing and then look at all the new things that are sprouting. A lot of y'all don't want to move forward from this. You don't think anything new can come of this. You're afraid to let it go. You're also afraid to hold on. You feel like time is passing by. She keeps on passing me by. <laughs> when I think of fairy tales, I think of me and Shelly. Yeah, uh, yeah, farce eye passing me by. Look that up. You feel like something's getting away from you or something's escaping. You're also losing hope. You need to read that grain of mustard seed, the mustard seed speech. If you've got faith like the size of a small ass mustard seed, all right, it's not dead. Y'all have to have faith that this is going to play out the way that it's supposed to. There's nothing you can do to control this situation, all right? You just got to roll with it. Stop being scared, all right? There's a sweet release that comes with that death energy that Scorpio brings, all right? It's very peaceful when you let it go and let the gods, all right? That's what you need to be doing here. A lot of y'all think there's something you can do to fix this, and I don't think that there is. I think you just got to let it play out. What's the final outcome right now? What's the final outcome in the energy they're sitting in right now? What's the final outcome with the energy that we're sitting in right now? That's too many. What's the final outcome? Ooh, you wanted to jump. The seven of pentacles. And look, it's two masculine energies again. Do you see that? It looks pretty masculine, the two of them. Also more ancient. This looks very Aztec, Incan, all right? Very old school, Mayan. Y'all have known each other many, many lifetimes. But the good news is, all right, seven of pentacles here. First of all, we're going to keep the flame burning if this is a twin flame connection. We are going to start seeing eye to eye. We are going to realize that we need to put in some effort here, okay? It is also about starting over fresh, though. Whatever that issue is that y'all were butting heads on, I feel like you need to just call it truce. I feel like you got to agree to disagree on whatever that is. When y'all can come to that realization, I feel like this keeps going and that you get the result that you're looking for. All right, y'all, that's what I got for you today. Much gratitude to you guys for helping me grow my channel. It started January 1 of this year, and it's my job. And now that is all because of you guys. So all the thanks in the world. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow for your message. Bye.